Italy are some of the finest beaches to be found anywhere in the world. When it comes to summer getaways, the Jersey Shore has always been freaking amazing. Then to now, you can find it all at this ultimate vacation destination. Whether you're going for obvious draws like action-packed Atlantic City or the laid-back vibe of Long Beach Island. From what folks eat to how they dance, there are definitely lots of differences between the Jersey Shore of yesteryear and the shore today. Everyone's grinding up on each other. It's practically like you're having sex on the dance floor. We'll compare the bikinis and the beaches, surfboards and boardwalks as well as fun pier attractions that have gone from crazy stunts then to gravity-defying excitement now. With all that has changed through the years, this was and still is the place to be for young and old, singles and family. This is the real Jersey Shore. Then and now. Bada bing, bada bang! summer sun and the informality of the beach. One particularly amazing thing about the Jersey Shore is that it's easy to find just the vacation experience you want. From the timeless Victorian charm lining the quaint beaches of Cape May to the fast-paced action of its nearby South Jersey neighbor, Atlantic City. Perhaps you want to skip the boardwalks and piers entirely for a more laid-back vibe, halfway between the North and South Shore on Long Beach Island. Best beach I've ever been to, hands down. Whatever the flavor, whether it's great beaches, great food, or exciting attractions, thousands of vacationers mix annually with year-round locals in shore towns like Wildwood, Long Branch, Point Pleasant, and even the town currently at the center of the pop culture universe because of MTV's Jersey Shore, Seaside Heights. There's truly something for everyone. The Spacious Boardwalk is always a center of activity, with many interesting stands and concessions to be examined. An invitation to tour the boardwalk is eagerly accepted. The amusement areas are waiting. There's just nowhere in America where the boardwalk is as much a part of the cultural fabric as the Jersey Shore. This beachside institution was invented in Atlantic City way back in 1870 to keep people from dragging sand into hotels along the beach. In the years since, Atlantic City's famed boardwalk has somewhat given up center stage to its sprawling casinos. But fortunately, numerous other Jersey boardwalks line the 127 miles of Sandy Coast. And it's a pretty safe bet that you'll eventually find a big, colorful dose of modern-day Jersey pride on every one of them. Everyone says it's the armpit of America or whatever, but I like it a lot. You know, Jersey's good. From then to now, the 28 boardwalks of the shore have provided men, women, and children with colorful amusement, exciting nightlife, incredible people watching, and of course, you just can't mention the Jersey Shore without getting a craving for some of its unique boardwalk treats. The crisp night air on the boardwalk whets the appetite. A variety of foods prepared before your eyes do much to contribute to the enjoyment of eating on the boardwalk. This is a selection to please every taste. People come up and they'll ask us what the difference is between ice cream and frozen custard. Frozen custard is a very rich ice cream and it has egg yolks in it and it makes it for a very rich ice cream. I come here every year. Yeah. I always have to come here. We've been here before there was a boardwalk and we're very much a part of the history of the Jersey Shore. My parents got me hooked actually, they came here first. We still make the hard ice cream in the machine like my grandfather used to use when he made it back in the old days. This machine's older than I am right now and it still works great. Yes. Is this your first time to Seaside? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah I used to go to Wildwood, but it's the first time I'm in Seaside. And the next time I come down, I'm getting the orange cream. Yeah. All right. Without a doubt. And we sell more of the orange cream, which is an orange and sherbet with the vanilla custard mixed together. It was 15 cents a cone when they went to Coney Island yeah. back in 1920. Yeah, now a hot yeah, dog is $5 now. Yeah. People from New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania from all over coming to us for this. The best ice cream I've had all that. I just yeah. ate a lot of junk food and ice cream, so... Well, this is more healthy for it. Premises and are not only delicious, but are beautifully packaged and displayed in 
Crumb Bakery in Beach Haven, home of the elephant ear since 1966. Everybody comes to the shore, they have to get an elephant ear and walk through the village. Everybody thinks they're sticky buns because they start out like a little roll of cinnamon, but then you roll them out and they become these big round elephant ear stuff. I used to watch them rolling the ears, it's so much fun. All the kids come around, family members, it's like a peace cookie kind of brings them together and it has some something talk about, you know, hang out with them. Like the little ones you'll see, you have to get a few of them, they'll come stand with them and we'll usually like, you know, throw some sugar at them or something and make them giggle. We will refill this case so many times throughout a day. You know, constantly be rolling them in the back. A lot of people enjoy them, you know, throughout generations. Have a good one. Visiting a premier coastal destination like the shore also means getting some great seafood, whether deep fried on the boardwalk or fresh when you catch it yourself. The fishing is good at seaside heights, too. Every day, both young and old occupy themselves with crabbing. Some use a simple hand line with bait tied to a string. The technique of others is somewhat more elaborate, but both are effective. 85 degrees? I mean, nothing beats coming out to Jersey to crab. This is the best crabs in New Jersey. Every year we come to this spot and we always catch the crabs. And I never saw crabs in my life in a rush. Like, we never even know what the crab is. We actually come down here every year. Oh. We've been crabbing about 10 years. It's my first time here. We don't really want to touch the fish. <laughs> And when it comes to the catch on the other end, she's probably the smart one because the famous blue claw crabs found at the Jersey Shore will definitely touch back. No, don't put your hands in this. Because I'll have a party. See what I mean? Yeah. On every dock of the bay down the shore, the way to catch crabs really hasn't changed. But the rules of crabbing are a little different from 50 years ago. For instance, now you can only keep the crabs if they're four and a half inches or longer. But even a few rule changes today haven't stopped these tasty little critters from taking the bait. People are so nice, and we never leave without the crab. Got about 40 today and a half a day. And a Meaning you're pretty much guaranteed to find paradise. Although nowadays, sitting in traffic on the Garden State Parkway can only affectionately be described as hell. And that's thanks to the legions of visitors who jam the exits accessing the Jersey Shore's 200-plus beaches. Many come from the New York and Philadelphia metro areas, both only about a half hour or so away from the north and south ends of the shore. Proximity to these massive urban centers has influenced the shore's mix of residents and vacation home renters over the years, leading to some key north-south differences. The first thing you have to remember when you come to the Jersey Shore, there's a big difference between the North Shore and the South Shore. When the tourists are coming down, we call them shoebies here in South Jersey. I think they call them Bennies up north. Oh, yeah, we get called Bennies all the time for my friends down here. You don't know what Benny is? It's uh, Betty Owen Elizabeth, North New York, is where it stands for. Down South Jersey, it's all shoebies. I guess they all came carrying shoe boxes to the beach. One of the biggest differences is who our sports teams are. Hey, in the North Shore, it's all about Yankees. Giants, New York teams. Guys, the Yankees or the Phillies? Phillies. The Eagles or the Giants? Eagles. The Flyers or the Devils? Flyers. <laughs> we like our hoagies, not our subs. We like our water ice, not our Italian ice. Up on Main Street, you get a nice, soft Italian ice. It's really good. In South Jersey, we like our pork roll, not our Taylor ham. Everybody knows Taylor ham. It's not pork roll. I don't know where they come up with this stuff. But at the end of the day, it's all the Jersey Shore, and it's a great place to be in the summertime. We're not really out here to play paddle ball. It's more about just hitting the walls at the women so we have an icebreaker. enjoy the sun and surf in his own time and in his own way. Back in the day, they had a little bit of an advantage because I think there was a point where you could drink on this beach. Now you're not allowed to drink any alcohol on this beach. You get a ticket for that. Ah, yes. A different, more innocent time where you could drink on the beach. You could even smoke on the beach. Not anymore. But there are some aspects where boy meets girl remain consistent. Mainly the fact that you gotta actually talk to them. Even if different times call for different styles. Back in the day, my pops had a movie. He actually toyed off something. Like, if there was a group of girls, he would walk by and pretend he's, like, selling something. He's like, hey, I'm selling these for charity. The old person's walking down the street. That was his thing. That was pretty good. Or, uh, DJ's happy how we get. So what do you guys do now? Um, we're heading back 
up front of the house. Okay, there. Sure, why not? Yeah. Okay, mission accomplished. The party has officially started, which means it's time to hit the shore house. As far as partying right now, it takes a couple steps off the beach to party in all the shore houses that are basically two or three blocks away. Because everyone's just there looking for a good time. That's pretty wild. vacation is complete until you've built a sandcastle. Along the Jersey coast, this is taken very seriously, as seen by the annual Belmar competition. Started back in 1987, the event had a whopping 10 participants. 25 summers later, there are hundreds of sculptures rising from the picturesque sands of Belmar Beach. And yes, I did say sculptures, for these are true works of art. When the sandcastle competition started, it was uh, a much smaller event with much more amateur construction. Today we have at least three professional sand sculptors here, along with the seven and eight-year-olds who are also building theirs. I started making sandcastles when I was a little kid, and now I'm getting serious about it. This is going to be a sand turtle, a sea turtle, a sea sand turtle. We did a miniature golf course. They're making a reptilian beast attacking a castle. This is the first time we've done anything like this, and Grace suggested it last night at 11.30. <laughs> Sand is a fun medium because it's not permanent. You kind of have to just be focused. You have to be in the moment. You only have a certain amount of time before the water dries out and it turns back into dust. People put great passion and energy into building their event, and then in the same vein, they'll demolish it with the same level of energy enthusiasm. So that brings us to the best on beach category. Drum roll, please. Old school Belmar! Okay, we've covered a whole bunch of fun things to do, see, and eat. And like the shore on Memorial Day weekend, we're really just warming up. Now, let me ask the question again. What is it about the Jersey Shore that makes this place so freaking amazing? The answer's not in the differences, although those sure are fun to see. The real answer is in the similarities. It's the tradition, whether on the beaches, the boardwalks, or the boats on the bay. It's parents sharing the same fun rides and treats with their kids that their parents shared with them. It's the mix of laid back cool and excitement, whether you're catching some waves on LBI or taking in some Atlantic City nightlife. And finally, it's the